is really a case of what I saw yesterday, but what I've seen with the incoming form. When you look at Tony Finau and Justin Thomas, they both have good Masters records. They're both good at Augusta, at least historically. So that's not really factoring in. But when you look at Tony Finau's form coming in here, and frankly, I do think he probably is a better course fit than Justin Thomas, but his form coming in from a recent form standpoint, it's just better than Justin Thomas's. And then you add what happened yesterday, which really doesn't factor in too much because it's not altogether unexpected. But Justin Thomas did most of his damage with the short game. Now, credit to him, short game, th those count as shots too. But off the tee and on approach, he wasn't very good at all, whereas Tony Finau was pretty great. He lost with the putter. That's kind of been the Tony Finau way over the last few months. But Justin Thomas hasn't been very good with the putter over all the last few months either. So I actually think that part of it is a wash. You take out the around the green game, Tony Finau can be good there, sometimes just as good as Justin Thomas. But he's been much better with the ball striking in recent form-wise and certainly yesterday as well. So I think this minus 115 is a very good price. I've seen it at other places at as high as minus 125, minus 130. I would play it at minus 130. I wouldn't go any anything above that because I, at that point, I think we're just paying too heavy of a price for a guy, Tony Finau, who, frankly, I didn't really support coming into this tournament. But again, this is a matchup against Justin Thomas, who I didn't support really at all. So I, I like the matchup here. And then I'm going to a three ball. I hate saying this because I like all my picks the same generally, but I do like this one a little bit more than the two ball. And it's because of how Patrick Cantley played yesterday. This is a round two, three ball, Patrick Cantley plus 125. Part, part of the reason I like this too is because it's plus 125 over Minwoo Lee and Ricky Fowler. And listen, Minwoo Lee, he has been good here before, but the way he did it the one time he was good here, I don't think is very sustainable. We know he had a finger injury about a week ago. And honestly, the way his game is right now, he should be great off the tee, but everywhere else, I don't think you can count on Minwoo Lee other than maybe with the putter. Patrick Cantley has not been good coming in. But he really flashed the ball striking yesterday. I was very impressed with it. It did look a little bit like vintage Patrick Cantley, and I expect the same from him today. Not an outstanding day, but a very good day from Patrick Cantley. And oh, by the way, Ricky Fowler, haven't mentioned him yet. He's been very bad. He was bad yesterday, plus four. The ball striking was bad, as it has been. The recent form has been bad. Uh, it's it's crazy to say, but I, I think Min Woo Lee is the main competition here. I, I don't think Ricky Fowler is going to end up factoring in over 18 holes. So at plus 125, really like this number. At other outfits, it's going to be plus 120. It probably won't be any shorter than that, though. And you can find this one at pretty much every book because these three balls generally are pretty consistent. There's something that won't surprise you at all. Second in the field. Second in the field yesterday. Round one of the Masters on approach. Hmm. Chip, you want to guess who that was? Yeah, that would be Tone. That would be the big Tone, Tony Finau, uh, gaining 3.54 strokes against the field. And that's why, like, when is it, I send the pick into Snake, right? And then you start opening up all the show docs. And when I see that C and I have targeted the same golfer, man, that's a good feeling. So I am going to go with that three ball that a lot of you mentioned in the chat. Taking Tony Finau, uh, minus the short number, number against Sepp Straka and Phil Mickelson. Uh, he sort of fits the profile for a lot of what I'm looking to for just the round two, three balls. Let's find somebody who is dialed in and then either A, caught some bad breaks, or B, was just a little bit off with the putter. And it, really specifically with Finau, it was only on the first nine. I mean, it was only on three holes, lost more than two strokes across three holes, you know, holes that should have been par holes, made a mess of it with the putter, lost a couple of strokes there. So I see just even more improvement from what was a one under round of 71. He's going up against Straka and Mickelson, both in the bottom half of the field in terms of the ball striking coming into this. And, and like Sia mentioned at the top of the show, Tony Finau is someone who, at the Masters, you automatically are going to apply a little bit of course value. And so when you've got that, uh, in addition to how he looked with the iron play hitting into some of these greens, you've got to feel excited about this opportunity. So I am also, uh, like my main man Sia, on Finau, and I am on that three ball that the chat was discussing a lot earlier, uh, Sepp Straka and Phil Mickelson.